Japanese assembly, high cross-country ability and reasonable price. Why sacrifice something if there is a car that satisfies all requests? Today we will try to summarize someone else's experience and talk about the problems of used Suzuki Grand Vitara. Many feared that the third generation of the SUV, which appeared in 2005, would be less reliable and functional than the previous Grand Vitara. It was too much different from the novelty of its predecessor, which had a separate frame and a plug-in, then without a center differential, all-wheel drive. In a word, the appearance of a Monaco body alerted many. And as it turned out, in vain. Thanks to the symbiosis of a Monaco body with independent suspension and a reduction gear with a locking center differential, the Grand Vitara has become a one-of-a-kind car on the market. He seemed at home among urban crossovers and at the same time could show results on the roads. Add here the traditional quality, good interior, affordable price, and you get an almost unique offer. The base engine for long versions, in addition to the five-door long wheelbase modification, the three-door short base modification was produced, until 2008 was a 140 horsepower 2.0 liter four-cylinder JB420 gasoline engine. In the US, a 2.7L petrol V6 with 185 horsepower was popular. Diesels, 1.6 and 1.9 from Renault, were not supplied to Ukraine, but we would not recommend looking for them in the secondary market. Often, modern diesel engines can save money only for the owner of a new car. In 2008, there was a restyling, with which new engines appeared, and in line for JB424, 2.4L 168 horsepower and 225 newton meters, and V6 3.2, 221 horsepower and 291 newton meters. Restyling came in handy and spurred demand with new opportunities. The three-door began to be offered with a 2.4 engine and an automatic. There was a system of assistance on the ascent and descent, though only for the 3.2-liter engine. The appearance was refreshed, the sound insulation was greatly added, turn signal repeaters settled in the side mirrors. There were updates later, in 2010 and 2012, but they did not introduce significant technical innovations. Motors are reliable. Let them all be quite demanding on the quality of fuel, but there are no frank punctures behind them. The issue with fuel is solved by regular replacement of candles. It is better to do this at every MOT, twice as often as recommended by the manufacturer. Candles of the 1.6 liter, for M16A and its older brother J20A rarely take care of more than the prescribed 30,000 kilometers. In 2 liter cars, you should carefully monitor the oil level in the engine. At the same time, it should be remembered that 500 g 1000 km allotted for waste are a standard consumption value and should not serve as a reason for a visit to the service. The camshafts rotate the chain, which, in the case of both engines, is recommended to be tightened by 90,000 km. At the same time, it is recommended to check the thermal clearances in the valve drive. Grand Vitara engines do not have hydraulic pushers, but shims. Especially warm words from mechanics deserved American. 2.7 liter v6 it in fact requires only control of the chain tension it is problematic to meet a dead gearbox or rizdaka during normal operation in the first cars the front gearbox used to leak oil through the stuffing box but the manufacturer quickly eliminated this saw the front gearbox by the way is the most vulnerable point in the transmission there are no problems with the rear a bulkhead may be needed already by 60 to 70 thousand kilometers but this is only if the oil is gone or moisture has entered the assembly after the assault on the water barrier. The clutch easily lives up to 120,000 kilometers. Many are annoyed by the unnecessarily long algorithm of the four-speed automatic transmission. These boxes are nursed for 200 to 250,000 kilometers. This is how the torque converters are set up. Like the howling chain of the Rizdaka, this is a technical given of the car and not a reason for a visit to the service. The bodywork and chrome trim parts honestly take the brunt of our chemically reactive winter. No weaknesses were noted. To be afraid, as in cases with other cars, you only need mechanical chips. And do not be lazy in protecting the injured places. Well, the pendant. It requires serious intervention only after 80 to 100,000 kilometers. At this point, the silent blocks come to an end, and sometimes the ball bearings of the front levers. But the first to 25,000 kilometers, as a rule, are the parts for attaching the front stabilizer to the suspension arms and the body. However, with rare off-road trips, they can live much longer. Summing up, 
it is worth recognizing that the above advantages of the Grand Vitara played a cruel joke with him. Thanks to its trump cards, this model is losing value too slowly in the secondary market. Buyers will have to shell out a lot. But the sellers of such cars definitely do not remain in the loser. Getting rid of a battered SUV is not difficult at all. The car, even in poor condition, will be picked up very quickly and for good money. Story The first SUV named Vitara appeared in 1988. Perhaps, with the exception of the Soviet Neva, born in 1977, Suzuki could be considered the founder of a new class of compact SUVs. Structurally, the newcomer was close to classic SUVs, frame, plug-in front-wheel drive. However, by the time the third generation of the model appeared, 2005, competitive pressure forced the frame structure to be abandoned. The Grand Vitara is stuck in an interclass space, which is why it probably lost some of its audience. It was perceived rather as a small, purely targeted SUV, devoid of a number of comfort options that are gaining popularity. Restyling in 2008 somewhat corrected the situation. A new model for 2014 called Vitara is a compact crossover that does not replace the Grand Vitara in the market, but complements it. In the arsenal of not a grand, there is only a typical crossover automatic all-wheel drive scheme, an electronically controlled clutch in the rear wheel drive and electronic emulation of interwheel differential locks. Body. Generally resistant to corrosion. Perhaps only the chrome-plated frame of the radiator grille and nameplates on the fifth door bloom after three or four winters due to the action of road reagents. However, if they are not damaged, polishing will restore their former shine not afraid of salt and a highly located radiator of the cooling system. Another problem is the sagging of the fifth, or third, door. It opens to the side, but adjustment eliminates this problem. Transmission. The manual gearbox and transfer cases are reliable with regular oil changes at 60,000 km and 45,000 km intervals, respectively. Do not lag behind in reliability and automatic gearboxes, 4 and 5 speed. They are content with monitoring the condition of the seals and the oil level, working properly up to 200 to 250,000 kilometers. With frequent off-road use or towing a trailer, the oil in the machine must be replaced every 60,000 kilometers. If the machine works without serious loads, this can be done half as often. Engine. Of the motors, the most popular is the JB420 2.0L, 140 horsepower. He is unpretentious and loyal to the 90-second gasoline. However, many of its capabilities are not enough, and the engine is often turned up to high speeds, which is why at the turn of 70,000 km oil consumption can reach 3 liters per 10,000 km. With insufficient lubrication, the timing chain drive dies first, which entails the replacement of the chain and sprockets with the tensioner assembly. Under normal conditions, the chain surrenders only at the turn of 150,000 km, and the rings easily go up to 250,000 km or more.